Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Doing a beer tonight from my old stomping grounds of upstate New York. This is from Brewery Amagang from Cooperstown, New York, home of the Baseball Hall of Fame. Three Philosophers Quadruple Ale, 9.7 ABB. So it just says enjoy by August of 2027. Pour it into the Spiegel tulip glass, and that is a beautiful kind of cherry burgundy hue coming out. It's pouring into a large, I'd probably call it like a tan khaki kind of uh, more of a soapy foam. It actually is fizzling away to keep topping it off. A blend of quadruple and Belgian Creek. They even have the hops and malts. Yeah, blending notes, 2% Leafman's Creek blended into brew kettle. Uh, yeah, 9.7, we knew that, 21 IBUs. I have the gravity that's in Play-Doh. It's different than what home brewers use. That 2% is coming through in the nose. Yeah, so I can smell that creek, but I, I can also smell that Belgian quad base there. So I'm getting like, you know, figs, ra figs raisins, dates, stuff like that. I think you get like, well, obviously I get a cherry from the creek. That's what it is, but... Yeah, and it has like that Belgian. I would not call this banana. I would not. No, not banana on this one, but it does have a slight kind of spiciness on it. And I don't smell or, you know, I can't, like, the alcohol's not there as far as I can tell. So let's dive in here. Cheers. Hmm. Well. The alcohol is uh, a little more prominent in the flavor, or like I can feel it and taste it more than I can smell it. Uh, it's funny because like last night, Chris and I did the Belgian dark strong ale style for Tuesday Night Beer School, so check that out. Um, so I definitely have the a lot of uh, Belgian quads in uh, my brain right now. Uh -huh. Yeah, so pretty spicy. Really spicy. Um, it's hard to describe. It's not. I mean, the the closest thing in like the most obvious to compare it to would be clove, but it's not as clovey as like some of the good German Weizenbox or even like a half a Weizen or something like that. And it's not the same clove as like a Belgian uh, Sh or sorry, Chimay Blue. And the first thing I notice on every sip that I take is like how effervescent it is. Well, that's pretty normal for the style. You know, the thing about the, the Belgian quad is like, it's like the only beer that's like pretty strong. I mean, 9.7, that's pretty strong. But it's also so highly carbonated because you're, I'm so used to beers, anything like over 8 or 9% is usually like kind of moderately carbonated at most. And they tend to have like big bodies. The quad is like, m you know, medium full, but also highly, you know, champagne effervescent. So it's kind of messes with your head that way. Yeah, so this starts... And ends pretty spicy. I'd say it's spicy throughout the whole thing. Has a bit of a fruitcake kind of flavor to it. I don't know if I would say, say that it's... I wouldn't describe it as like malty. Like when I think malty, I think like Doppelbach or even regular Bach. You know, something like that. The thing about the quads is that a lot of the flavor comes from the, the candy syrup. Not so much the malt. Because like it's basically just Pilsner malt and like maybe a little bit of specialty malt. And uh, it's just the yeast and the, the Belgian candy syrup that's, you know, steering the ship, I guess you could say. So, yeah, it's fruity as far as, like, you get that Belgian Creek, you got the candy syrup, you had the uh, Amagang house yeast, as, you know, very phenolic. Um, so spicy, like I said, kind of fruit cakey, but it's not, I, would, I wouldn't really call it, it's not sweet per se. Has like maybe like a tiny little bit, almost like a hint or a kiss of like vanilla to it. Again, it's just the sweetness from like the big malt. Although it finishes quite dry. In fact, I might even say it finishes bone dry. That 9.7 comes in and just kind of whatever was on that tongue, it just kind of like sweeps it off, you know. That's why a lot of really strong beers, except for like maybe the case of Imperial Stouts, they tend to just, uh, that alcohol just, you know, tends to help with the bitterness it's hard to pick out like what would be the actual hop flavor and hop bitterness on this one all that spice i would assume is um yeast derived i would say medium full body high carbonation 
definitely get a little bit of alcohol warmth. I mean, I got more on the first few sips and it seems to have subsided now, which is kind of ironic because like the more you drink, the more the beer warms up. I will say the cherry, you know, it starts out strong, even though it is only 2% of the brew. And just the more that I drink, the more it just kind of fades into the background. So it's it, it's really hard to judge like this to style. So, I mean, you kind of, you know, hybrid styles like this, you just kind of get to go personal preference or hedonistic or whatever. By the way, it's been like 14 years since the last time I had this. Last time I had this was with uh, Henry back in 2012. And it was funny because like at the time I hadn't seen him in like six months or so. And he didn't have a beard. You know, I'll put a clip right there. Um, and I don't think I've had this since then. Maybe. I've had to check untapped. I know they actually they also do a nitro version of this, which would be really interesting. I couldn't find that one. But um, as far as the score for the three philosophers, I like it. It's not one of the best Belgian quads, like Rochefort 10 right there. Um and I'm not, I'm not sure you can even really score it or judge it as a quad because of that 2% uh, uh, Lambic Creek in, or whatever in there. That being said, it is tasty. And they've been making this beer for like probably 20 years or so, maybe more. So, you know, people like it. I like it. I'm going to go, to me, this is a solid 8 out of 10. It's, it's good or very good, I should say. It's just not quite you know, Hall of Fame type beer. If you watch all this and you know you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.